it's been interesting working on this movie because it's actually based on a true story that takes place here in Seattle. So you'll be acting in the movie, and then they'll be like, oh, do you know the real guy who this movie's based on is here today? And then you'll like meet the real you, who is like the character you're playing, like the guy. And they'll be like, I'm playing a character called Wayne. And they'll be like, oh, this is the real, this is the real Wayne. The Wayne, this is the real Wayne. This is crazy. And I, everyone, everyone, I just wanted to keep happening and then be like, go up to the director, like, excuse me, Stephen, this is the real Stephen Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Can you believe it? This is, can you get over it? I mean, look, the, 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 the fake one is very attractive. The, the, the real one is, looks old and strange. Or just like, excuse me, excuse me, camera? This is the real camera. Real camera, did you ever think that you would be portrayed in a movie by the camera that shot American Pie? You didn't, did you? Um, bada bing! That's what that felt like. Like there's one guy and I'm like, oh good, he's laughing, he won't have me thrown off a ferry. I'm DC Pearson and I play Wayne in the movie Grassroots. Wayne is mostly kind of a stoner dude in his early to mid 20s and you get the sense that he's kind of uh, drifting through life and then he stumbles upon the campaign of this guy Grant Cogswell who's running for city council on a public transportation social justice uh, build the monorail platform and he sort of gets really activated by him because he's not your typical candidate. He swears a lot, he kind of wears his heart on his sleeve and he's very honest and I think that Wayne is sort of enthralled by that because everyone would like to be involved in something cool but you know it's, it's rare that you get a chance to kind of uh, uh, throw your weight behind and your effort behind something that's really good and also someone you can actually believe in. It's great, there's like a total uh, you know, familial, fun atmosphere. Like being on a film set's really cool because you get to have 70 sort of different mini working relationships with people and have your little in-jokes and stuff like that. And I was, I was saying to someone, I can't remember who, but if I could like just make a coffee table book of every in-joke on a set, like I could, you know, at least have a book. I don't know if anybody who wasn't on the set would want to buy it, but it would be fun as like a yearbook or something. Politicians that they're robots, you know? And he's a robot too, but he's like one that's been given a heart uh, by like a scientist. I, I, that I can tell that's not a watch. That's just a non-time-telling bracelet. 